Hi, I'm back. It's me again. In your screens, on your phones, on your laptops. It's me. I'm really bad at starting videos. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I uh, wrote a book during lockdown. Well, partially during lockdown. Mostly during lockdown. Um, it's finished and I'm very excited about it. About getting it out there. And um, yeah, uh, for those of you who do follow me on Instagram, I did ask you questions or I asked you to ask me questions about the book. And um, this video is just me answering them to just like generate a little bit of interest, get the conversation going. And um, yeah, I'd like to hear from you guys. So leave comments, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, without further ado, let's get in to these questions that you guys asked me on the social media. I did get like a really good response from you guys um, on Instagram and Facebook. Um, people like sent me DMs, they commented on the photograph that I uploaded on Instagram. Um, but like I kind of got like two different categories of questions. The first uh, category was questions about the book that I've written itself. Um, and then the second category was more like about the writing process and like how I go about it and how I do my thing. So this video is going to be split into two separate sections. I'm going to answer the questions about um, the book first and then afterwards I'll answer the questions like about my processes and how I figure things out. And um, yeah, this is how we're going to do it tonight. First, most important and pressing question that I got asked came from Instagram and I just have to get this out of the way first and the question was, I'm going to put it up here somewhere so you can see this is a real question, <laughs> is do you like pop song? And um, you know, out of respect for everyone who replied to that story, um, yes, yes I do, like, I, I do like pop song very much, yes love pop song, love pop, go pop song, woo! Okay, so the first real question is, what is the book about? Um, so I'm not really ready to release like the title yet, so I'm not going to tell you what the title of the book is. Um, I'm also going to do uh, a cover reveal later on, um, maybe in like a week or two. I'm not 100% sure we're doing this like on the fly. To be honest with you, I'm just glad the book's done. It's written. Um, it's currently being edited at the moment. That's going to take about another two or three months. Hopefully two, maybe three. I don't know. But just follow me on Instagram. I'm going to put my handle up here somewhere. And um, you will get updated there. That is like the, the place I'm most active. More than YouTube, more than Facebook. If you're interested and you'd like to read my book and you want to find out more about it, follow me on Instagram because that is the first place you're going to hear any news about it. Um, so back to the question, what is the book about? The book is um, a collection of short stories that I've written. Um, some of them are a little older, they're from like a couple years ago, but the majority of them, the bulk of them, were written this year, um, specifically throughout like the South African lockdown, or the, so the South African COVID lockdown. They're not about the lockdown, um, I just took the lockdown as an opportunity to like really knuckle down and work on the book. It wasn't easy, um, and I did get like demotivated. But then I got motivated again. I'm just like on a roller coaster of emotions, like all the time. But yes, the book is a collection of short fictions. Um, and yeah, I think they're going to be about 20 stories, give or take one or two. Uh, it all depends on the editing situation. Like I might decide that like a story doesn't fit and then I'll take it out and I'll replace it with like another story that I've written. We'll see in the future. But um, that is what the book is about. It's like a whole bunch of different fantasy, sci-fi, weird ass, like if you were to ask me how I describe my writing style, it would be like if Nathaniel and Stephen King had a baby and that baby was best friends with Neil Gaiman. That's how I describe it. I don't know. People don't like ask me about this kind of stuff unless I ask them to ask me like I did on Instagram. But um, yeah, that's kind of what it's about. Uh, which brings me to the next question that got asked is what genre is the book? I don't write in specific genres, like I don't like to box myself in, I like to play with like different ideas, do different things, and um, I guess if you wanted to box what I do into a genre, it would be the genre of urban fantasy. Um, that's where like things are written sort of in the real world, um, but you know you have like fantastical, magical, technological, wonderful elements injected in to the real world. If you want to read about like magical realism, urban fantasy, that kind of thing, the Colombians invented it. It's a very interesting topic. You should. So another question, uh, or the next question, was um, what is the plot? 
So because there are 20 different stories in this book, there are 20 different plots. Um, you know, I, there's a story about like a drag queen who's actually a goddess. Um, there is a story about a family of aliens who pick up a stray astronaut. There is a story, like there are a whole bunch of different plots in this book. Like, I'm really happy with the work that I've done and I hope that um, if you do end up buying the book that you will enjoy it too. Um, I love feedback so, you know, talk to me. We can have a discussion about it. But yes, there isn't a single plot. There are 20 stories with 20 different plots, lots of stuff going on. Um, and yeah, that's, that's the answer to that question. 20 different stories plus minus. 20 different plots so you know we've got a smorgasbord of plots going on in this book another question that was asked like multiple times so like if you don't know me if this is your first time seeing all of this um i am also like an artist and an illustrator i do like a lot of watercolor work um that kind of thing so a lot of people ask me if there would be illustrations in the book uh no there are no illustrations in this book um i wanted there to be like i fooled around with it for a little while um, but I think that it would be based, like for now, it's my first book, it's the first thing like I've ever released like physically, or will be releasing physically, and um, I think for now there are no illustrations, but who knows, maybe I'll do an edition where there are illustrations. I mean, I have drawn and painted illustrations for the book, but as of now they are not going in. So no, there will be no illustrations in the book, it is just 100% reading, so I recommend you be literate. It's not just pictures question is who is the book aimed at um it's a hard one to answer i guess anyone who's interested in fiction like um like i said there's a little bit of fantasy there's a little bit of sci-fi there's a little bit of like magical realism there's a little bit of urban fantasy or like urban fantasy is like sort of the common thread i guess between all of them um i guess if like i i write after people or authors that like i to be like or like who I enjoy so if you're a Stephen King fan you're probably gonna like this book if you are a Neil Gaiman fan you're probably gonna like this book if you are a Stephen Fry fan you're probably gonna like this book I hope I hope this is what like this is what I'm aspiring to be I don't know I've had like no feedback like a little bit of feedback people do tend to like it but you know I guess um, if, if I were to you know if you were to ask me who the book was aimed at specifically Anybody who enjoys reading fantasy fiction and funny, I like, I like to think it's funny, parts of it are. <laughs> so yeah, if you enjoy reading fantasy uh, and sci-fi and just like weird shit like Nathaniel, like, a, you know, he's also like such a great story writer. Um, like if I could be just like a, a little bit like him, that would be amazing. Um, but I'm also trying to be myself. Like, so yeah, if you enjoy those kinds of writers, you will enjoy this book. I hope is who is the book aimed at well i guess that depends on who i'm throwing it at <laughs> okay the next question is where can i get the book so um i'm independent i don't have a publisher this is just me on my own doing my thing doing the research finding printers hiring editing people uh it's it's been like a long hard road i'm all on my own out here um, but it's the way I wanted it. Uh, I didn't want to approach a publisher with this book Because uh, I wanted it sort of to be it's like my personal pet project So no, there is no publisher So you're not going to be able to like go down to exclusive books and buy it Unfortunately when it does come out um, you will be able to contact me via email um, Like I said follow me on Instagram. I will put uh, my email up on there or like when orders when pre-orders the book will be on pre-order when the book comes out for pre-order, you'll be able to just email me, send me your details, we can discuss how many you want, if any, email me. Um, and then, yeah, I'll have the book couriered to you. And that's how this is gonna work. We're an independent person here. Then the next question was, how much is the book going to cost? So I've done costing, I've done pricing, I've contacted like printers, the whole shebang. And um, the book is going to be around 200 Rand a copy. Um, that, is, that is what I'm going to be able to get away with. And like, I don't think that that's a bad price for a book. Like, if you look at like what's out there, you know, you'd pay upwards of 300 Rand for a book. So I think 200 is fair. And like, it's basically just covering my costs. Like, I'm not planning on making like a massive profit out of this. This was really just a passion project um, that I wanted to do. Um, so yeah, 200 bucks, email me. I'll let you know when the pre-orders 
are open when pre-orders open. I've never done this kind of thing before. I've got no, no clue what I'm doing. But yes, pre-orders will open for the book. You can email me, chat to me, DM me, and we can make a plan to get your copy to you of this book that we do not know the title of yet. Well, we know the title. I'm just not announcing it. Okay? I do kind of know what I'm doing. Ben, can you read the book um, once you buy it? <laughs> I, like I said, I'm not 100% sure. I'm, I'm aiming for like the next two to three months. It could be a little bit longer, but it could also be a little bit shorter. It depends on how fast I actually edit it. I'm like more than halfway through now. Um, and then there's just another couple steps in the editing process that need to happen. Like it actually needs to go to like a proper line editor. Um, we'll have a look at it. And then, um, yeah, so next two, three months, the book should be, you know, available. And then you can read it. Um, but also our yeah, first step, learn how to read. That it would be, you know, then you can read it, just know how to read. <laughs> okay, um, this is the last question in like the book, my book segment of this video. Um, and that is, will it be a movie? <laughs> Even Bano is like in the spare room right now. No, it's not going to be a fucking movie, okay? I'm like a little independent author that nobody knows about. No, it's not going to be a goddamn movie. Just read the damn book. Okay, it's time to get into the writing question segment of this video. Um, yeah, like I said, there were like a multitude of questions. Some had to do with the book that I've written and others just had to do with writing in general. So I thought, meh, let's just combine them into one video that I didn't even shave my face for. Couldn't have even been bothered to shave for you guys tonight. I'm sorry. It's winter, yeah, in Joburg, it's cold. Like, I don't feel like standing by a basin and shaving my face. It's not happening that often anymore. So we're in lockdown. Sort of, whatever, I don't even know anymore. Whatever, let's just get to the questions. Okay, the first question um, for the writing segment side is, do I know when I start writing where characters will end up? Mm -mm. Like sometimes, sometimes I do. Like sometimes I'll have like a very clear idea in my head of like where I want a story to go, or what I'm trying to say in the story or what I want to do and where the characters will end up. Normally, like if I decide they're gonna die, they die. That's what happens. I kill a lot of people. I don't know, like a George or a George R. R. Martin, that shit. Um, but other than that, no. Like sometimes I do know, and I have a very clear outline of like what the story will be and where the characters are going to go, what they're going to do, where they're going to end up, emotionally, physically, sonically, spiritually, metaphorically. Um, and other like other times, I have no idea what I'm doing. Like I'll just I'll have like an idea in my head or an image or like something I'll want to say. And I'll start writing and then sort of like in midpoint and sometimes even just by the end I'm like, oh, so this is what the story is about. Also, oh, this is this is this is actually better. Let's go in this direction. Sometimes things change. Sometimes I phone my brother and I'm like, I don't know what to do. And then he's like, do this. He gives such great advice. He should write. Ryan, you should write. But yes, sometimes yes, sometimes no, it depends. Okay, next question is. Are any of my stories based on real life experiences? Um, that's a tricky one to answer because like, I feel like all stories are based on like real life experiences, whether like it's an emotion that you felt that you wanted to write about or an experience you had or like a story you over here. Cause like writers are like the great eavesdroppers <laughs> of the world. Um, like, so yeah, some of the stories are based on like real things I've been through or like things I've heard people go through. So yeah, to a degree, I think it just grounds it nicely. Like you can't tell a good story if like there isn't good emotion there or if there isn't like really a good story to tell. Um, and like some of them are just like ripped right out of real life. Like there, there's one story, I'm not gonna say which one because like questionable things took place. Um, and that is based on not my experience, but something someone else close to me did. I'm so sorry, I changed names, no. And there's a disclaimer, but Yes, I think a lot of what I do, or what I write about, like, is based in reality. Like, it's based on, like, things that I've experienced or feelings I've felt or, like, something that I've wanted to write about. So, yes, I think all stories are based on, like, real life experiences, even fiction, especially fiction. Um, so, yeah, that answers that. The next one is, do you think it is easier to write short stories or novels? Um... So I have written a novel. I, written, I wrote a novel once. I've written like a novel and a half. <laughs> Been doing this a while. Um, they, they are two such completely different things that require two completely different skill sets. So like with short storytelling, 
which is something that I love doing as much as I write, love writing novels. Um, with short storytelling, you've got to basically be able to tell a, a story well um, in a very short amount of time. And like, there are people that are very, very good at this. Um, Stephen King is one of them. Uh, like, I know a lot of people hear the name Stephen King and they think, oh, he's creepy, he's kooky, it's horror. It's not. Like, it's really, really good. And like, some of like Stephen King's best work, in my opinion, aren't his novels, they're his short stories. Um, they don't get enough credit. And like, he just writes the most amazing short stories. Um, yeah, like, it's a different kind of skill set from writing a novel. Um, there's still planning involved, you've still got to sit down and write, um, but yes, you basically, it's a, it's a tool in your mind that you sharpen to be able to tell a cohesive, good story in a very short space of time. Um, and that's what short story writing is. Whereas with novels, like, you've really got to know, like, how to pace things out, like, you've got to be um, meticulous with your planning and like that you know I don't want to say it takes longer because like you know you should technically be able to write a book in three months if you're doing it right according to the experts I don't know that's just what I hear that's what Stephen King says he says three months um, but yeah uh, it's it's they're both difficult and they both come with their own obstacles short stories novels and that's that on that Okay, the next question is, what made you start writing? Um, I don't know, like, I'm going to be 30 next year. And I've been writing, like, a really, really long time. Um, like, probably uh, from, I don't know, like, eight, nine, I'd, like, make up stories and poems and stuff and, like, write them down and show my mom and my mom would be like, oh, that's cute, you know? Um, but I think reading, I think reading makes writers, you know, I think if you, I've read from a really young age as well, um, whether it was like Goosebumps books or Harry Potter or whatever the case was, um, you know, I was always really passionate about reading and storytelling, I love storytelling, uh, whether it's like in a movie or in a book or in an article, like I love telling stories and I love listening to stories or reading stories or hearing stories. And yeah, like I, I've just also always had like an interest in people like uh, like my two grandmothers seriously like sort of embedded that in me um my grandmother on my dad's side was like a lovely lady and she just buy me books whether it was like comic books novels like i just read and read and read whatever she gave me she really encouraged me to read which was great and then like my grandmother on my mom's side she's like the funniest lady and she's like had a hard life but she's also got like a really good sense of humor about it and she tells the most interesting stories. Like, I, I love listening to her talk and tell me about, like, her life and her experiences and the people that she's known and met. And I feel like that's sort of what pushed me in the direction of wanting to become a writer because I wanted to tell those kinds of stories. Um, and it just sort of evolved into telling them in my own way through through fiction, if that makes sense. So, yeah, like, you can, you can blame my grandmothers. Final question, the last one. Um, this one sort of falls into, like, both categories, I guess. I don't know. Um, but it's my video, not yours. So I'll answer these questions in whatever order I want to. Um, the question is, how has the experience been from start to finish? Um, well, it's not finished. <laughs> the book is finished, but the experience isn't finished. It's been hard. Like, it's been, it's been hard, it's been wonderful, it's been fantastic, and it's also been, like, really difficult with everything that's been going on in the world. Um... Not just like with COVID and whatever, but you know, it just, you know, life is hard in general and it's easy to get down. And I think like as a creative person, it's also really easy to get down on yourself. So it's been a mixture of things. Right now I'm experiencing a lot of relief because I'm just glad the novel or the novel, the, the, the book is done. Um, and yeah, it's been wonderful. I love writing. It's like one of my favorite things to do. Um, and like, I'm so blessed to be able to just like have a space um, have electricity if you live in South Africa to be able to sit down and write and take courses and to experience things and to just like sit down and hone my craft so I'm very grateful to be able to practice my craft writing and um, yeah I'm excited as well like it's gonna be awesome to share this stuff with you and I hope that you take a liking to it and take an interest and support someone small and local who is trying uh, to do something with their lives, I guess. Whatever. <laughs>
Anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for answering all these questions. I will asking me all these questions. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'll let you know what's going on with the book. I will be updating on Instagram. Like I said, currently editing. Something I did forget to mention earlier is that unfortunately for now, it's only going to be available. The book is only going to be available in South Africa for now. I'm going to see if I can get it on like Amazon or like KDP Select or one of those, um, you know, international ebook print to order some things um, at a later stage. But for now, I really want to focus locally um, on my South African people. So yeah, thanks so much. If you have lasted um, this long through this video, thank you for watching. And um, yeah, if you like my content, if you want to hear more about the book, about me, about what I'm up to, you want to see more videos, I might be pumping them out. Um, yeah, please give me a like, a subscribe, a follow, ring the bell, all that good YouTube stuff, uh, all that good social media stuff. Um, my handle is Crazy Ferguson on Instagram. Like I said, that's where I am most active. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon, hopefully. And yeah, stay safe, wash your hands, wear your mask, don't catch this disease, try and get your alcohol and cigarettes safely if you live in South Africa where it's now illegal to drink and smoke. I don't know, I feel like I'm living in one of my stories. It's like some dystopian shit going on in this country. Anyway, thanks so much. Chat soon. Bye.